today we are going to present you about experiment one, which is the visible spectra of soft drinks. My name is Nur Atira Awni binti Abdul Rahim, and I'm going to present about the objective of this experiment. The first objective of this experiment is to determine the origin of the color of sample soft drink from its absorption spectrum. The second, to determine the wavelength at maximum absorbance for a soft drink sample. The third, to determine the unknown concentration of a soft drink from the calibration curve. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Farahani binti Muhammad Husaini and I'm going to explain the introduction of this experiment. Spectroscopy is the study of absorption and emission of light and other radiation by the matter. It is also known as the study of interactions between particles such as electrons, ions and even protons. These spectroscopic techniques are widely used in analytical method these days. Radio frequency spectroscopic of nuclei in a, in a magnetic field has been used in medical method, infrared, visible light, UV, and X-ray. Are some of the examples of electromagnetic radiation and can be used to interact with the matter. There are many important instrumental methods of chemical analysis that rely on the interaction between light and matter to probe the chemical structure. One of the most accurate, convenient and sensitive method to measure the concentration of dilute solution is by using calorimetry or absorption spectrophotometry. The techniques are basically based upon the measurement of the amount of light energy a solution absorbed from a beam of light of a certain wavelength. The wavelength chosen is usually that one at which the absorbance of the species that will be analyzed, which is at the maximum. The DR2800 will be used in this experiment instead of Spectonic 20. Analysis for experiment 1. The visible spectra of soft drink. We have four part A, B, C and D. So part A, preparation of sample, uh, standard solution and unknown solution. For standard solution, we have five solutions. When uh, the unknown, we have one. So we can say that preparation of the standard solution, we can say that it has same procedure. But we just use a different volume of soft drink. Uh, for example, for solution one, we use 5 ml soft drink into 50 ml volumetric glass and fill up with filter water. For solution two, we use 10 ml soft drink. For solution 2, we use 15 ml soft drink. For solution 4, we use 20 ml soft drink. Solution 5, we use 25 soft drink. For unknown solution, we just randomly pour volume of the soft drink into the 15 ml volumetric flask and fill up with distilled water. And the B, operation of Spectronic 20. First, the spectronic 20 has been turned on and wait for the instrument to warm up. Second, the wavelength has been set at 600 nanometer and the transmitting adjust at 1 at 0%. Three, the cuvette obtained must be clean and rinsed with distilled water first. Then about 3 over 4 full blank solution, which is used in the this experiment is used to water as the blank solution. And the blank solution being filled into the cuvette. Um, Clean the fingerprint and the water excess at the outside of the cuvette by using Kim White. Kim White. And number four, absorbance and transmittance has been adjusted to zero and one hundred percent with the cuvette contain blank solution in the sample holder. Then the cuvette removed. Five, the another cuvette obtained and rinsed with small amount of standard soft drink. Then about three over four full with standard solution has been filled into the cuvette and same we must use skin wipe to clean outside of the cuvette and place it in the sample holder with the with hash marks line. The absorbance has been recorded. Number six, the cuvette has been removed, close the top of the spectronic 20 and the wavelength has been changed to 20 nanometer lower. Transmittance has been reset to 0% 
and base 8, the cubic contain blank solution during insert and transmitting reset to 100%, then the cubic remove. 9, the same cubic contains standard solution that used in the step 5, instead in this instrument, then the absorbance has been read and recorded. Then, step 7 to 9 has been repeated until 360 nanometer, taking absorbance and reading at each 20 nanometer interval. Then, using graph paper, plot the absor absorption spectrum and determine wavelength maximum. For part C, quantitative analysis of the soft drain solution. The spectronic 20 has been set to the wavelength maximum obtained from the part B. The absorbent and the transmitter has been set at 0 and 100. The absorbent of each standard solution has been measured and recorded and also the absorbent of the unknown solution has been measured and recorded too. The last part which is the cleaning up. The waste such as the soft drink and the distilled water has been poured down to the sink because they are not harmful. And the cubic has been cleaned and drained out. This is the results for the wavelength and absorbance of soft drinks uh, from um, wavelength nanometer 600 into the 360. The absorbance is um, recorded from the from the instrument and the wavelength max or known as lambda max is 520 nanometer. This is the results for the table of soft drink concentration and absorbance. There are five solutions and one unknown sample and the concentration is then calculated. For the unknown sample, the concentration is 16% and the absorbent is 0 0.510. So I will continue with the discussion. For this experiment, our group needs to be determining the absorbents for red soft drinks using strawberry penta soft drinks. The solution gives a realistic result that turned out to be uniformly increased and decreased normally for the data. First, we need to prepare the standard solution of soft drink, which is known concentration. Then, the wavelength was set to 600 nanometers. The blank or distilled water was put in the thermal spectronic and then replaced with cuvette containing soft drinks. After remove the blank, the steps uh, were the step were repeated until 360 nanometer, and the absorbance reading was taken after 20 nanometer. The function of blank is to allow you to set the spectrometer to zero before you measure your ion solution. Based on the results, the reading of the absorbance was relatively increasing from 360 nanometer with 0 0.342 until it reached a peak which is at 520 nanometer with 1.590. After 520 nanometer, the absorbance reading relatively decreasing. Based on the data obtained, the lambda max or the wavelength of the maximum absorbance turned out to be 520 nanometer. Based on the table on introduction of the lab manual, the absorbed color is at blue, blue green range. Thus, the result that we got from the observed color and the origin of the soft drink that we gained turned out to be blue and green is at the same range. For the reading of the soft drinks concentration versus absorbance, the reading of the absorbance keep increasing proportionally with the concentration. As the concentration of the soft drink increase, so does the absorbance. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Nusha Mimi and I'm going to continue presenting about discussion. It is often assumed that Bayes law is always a linear plot describing the relationship between absorbance and concentration. However, division do occur that cause non-linearity. This division can be classified into three categories which are fundamental, instrumental and chemical division. First, fundamental divisions that due to the mutation itself. At high concentration, each particle affects the charge distribution of its numbers. This interaction alters the ability of analyte species to absorb a given wavelength of radiation. Second, instrumental division which occur due to how the absorbance measurements are made. It is divided into two. First is due to polychromatic radiation and second is due to the presence of stray radiation. Third, Chemical division which occur when the analyte undergoes dissociation, association or reaction with the solvent to give products that absorb differently than the analyte. 
In this experiment, a few precaution steps were taken to minimize any error that might present. First, rinse pipette by using some of the soft drink to remove any impurities before using it. Second, make sure the eye level is parallel to the reading when pipetting the soft drinks. Third, distill water will ensure to not be more or less than calibration mark when diluting the soft drink. Fourth, carefully wipe the surface of cuvette using Kim White before placing it in sample holder. I will continue with the conclusion. So at the end of the experiment, we can determine the origin of the color of a soft drink sample from its absorption spectrum to determine the wavelength at maximum absorbance for a soft drink and to determine the unknown concentration for a soft drink from the calibration curve. White light is visible light and it contains all the colors of the rainbow. The color of soft drink that we use is red and it is come from blue and green spectrum. The solution appears red because the intensity of the blue green light in the original white light has been decreased. So we use spectronic 20 to measure the absorption of light in visible spectrum that we perceive as color by fill the cuvette with soft drink solution. To obtain the absorption spectrum of a soft drink, we use spectrophotometer by measuring the absorbance of a sample of the soft drink at different wavelengths. Next, we also use calibration curve to determine the concentration of anion solution. In this experiment, the wavelength at maximum absorbance of soft drink is 520 nanometer while the anion concentration of soft drink is 16% with absorbance at 0 0.510. This is the reference that we use in this experiment. That's all from us and thank you.